Hey everyone, Andrew here. This video is going to be pretty short and sort of a follow-up to my previous one about using Docker with a local Laravel installation. A few people commented asking about using SQL Pro or phpMyAdmin to view the database that Docker creates, so I figured that I'd throw together a quick video and show you two ways that you can go about accomplishing this. First things first, I have my testing site all set up with my Docker Compose file for a brand new Laravel application, which I have in this source directory. Let's bring this up by going to the command line and running docker compose up d. Once that's up, we can run our default Laravel database migrations by using the docker compose exec command, followed by our PHP container name, and then the command that we want to run. In this case, PHP, the full path to artisan, and migrate. Our database has been populated successfully, and just for added measure, let's add in a test user. Since we don't have direct access to our database right now in any sort of GUI, we can accomplish this through the Laravel built-in artisan tinker command. If we run the command as before, but replacing migrate with tinker, we're presented with a persistent shell that we can use to, well, tinker with our Laravel application. I'm going to create a test user in this with some basic credentials. and then exit the shell using the exit command. All right, now that we have a test application up with a dummy user in our database, let's see how we can get into it. The first way I'm gonna show you is with the popular MySQL application, SQL Pro. However, this same method should work on any GUI MySQL Toolbench application. First, we'll give our connection a nickname. We can just call it Laravel Docker. Our host is just a local host IP since that's what we're running Docker on. Now, if we go back to our Docker Compose file, we can see that in our MySQL service, we've set a few environment variables that we're gonna need here. Our database's name is set to Homestead, so is our user, and our MySQL password is set to Secret. Additionally, we're using 4306 as the exposed port to connect to our MySQL container instead of the default 3306. Back on SQL Pro, we can add these details in and hit Connect. Your database's tables should appear immediately on the following screen, and we can go through each one to view their details. Our users table has the user that we added in with Laravel's Tinker, along with the test information that we set. Let's use SQL Pro's GUI and add in another test user. We can use the name another user, the email another at user.com, and the same password hash as the first user because this is just a demonstration. After we save that new user, let's visit our terminal again and run the docker compose exec command for artisan tinker. If we use the prompt to run app slash user colon colon all, we can see that the user we added in is being displayed successfully. Our connection to our docker containers database is no different than a connection to a local or remote MySQL database and even adding in another user using Tinker shows up immediately in SQL Pro. All right, that's enough of that. How about phpMyAdmin? This is actually really straightforward and only requires a minor addition to our Docker Compose file. First, since we're going to be making changes to that, we need to bring down our container network using docker compose down. In our docker compose.yml file, let's add a new service and call it phpMyAdmin. It's going to be built off a pre-made image on the Docker Hub, which we can access with the image keyword and phpMyAdmin slash phpMyAdmin. The restart flag is then set to always. The container will always try to come back online if for any reason it crashes or resets. 
Let's give it a simple container name of phpMyAdmin, matching the service title. It also depends on one service to be ready before it comes online, and that's MySQL. Pretty important for that one to be first. For the ports, the first one determines where you'll be accessing phpMyAdmin in the address bar of your browser, just like with the first port on the Nginx service. For simplicity's sake, we're going to set it to 1 up from the Nginx service, 8081. The second port is then set to 80, attaching to the internal web server port for the container. Next, we need to set two environment variables for phpMyAdmin. The first is the host that the MySQL container runs on. In a normal server installation, this is usually set to the local host IP. But just like with our laravel.env file, our MySQL host is set to the service name. The second variable is the MySQL root password, which if we scroll up in our docker compose file, we've set that to secret. The last part of our phpMyAdmin service configuration is the networks section. Mirroring the previous services and keeping them all in the same docker compose network, we just set this to Laravel. Back on our command line, let's run docker compose up d again to bring up our now four containers. We can test out that our site is still working and responsive at localhost 8080, so let's try visiting 8081. We can see that the phpMyAdmin container is working just as expected, and to log in all we need is our database username and password. We've set those to homestead and secret, respectively. And now we can view our database in here, just like we did with SQL Pro. Our users are all in here, and let's even go in and make a few changes to them to prove that everything's working right. We can change a user's name here, and maybe an email address too. Visiting our terminal one last time, let's run the docker compose exec command for artisan tinker. If we return all the users with app user all, our changes we made in phpMyAdmin are reflected in the actual data just like we expected. And that's all there is for this video. You now know two simple ways to access a Docker container's MySQL database through GUI applications. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters, and as always, if you have any questions or recommendations, please feel free to let me know in the comments or on my Twitter linked below. Thanks for watching.